Okay, so this is how to embed a website, an entire website in your Canvas. So Canvas is sort of your one-stop shop. Students don't have to leave to go to a different website. It all stays here. So what you want to do is go to a content page. I've already made it, so you'll go ahead and click that, make it, and name it. And once you've made it, you're going to open up your content page and click edit. Okay? From here, if you have any directions you want to add in, so let's say mine, I'll say click the launch button to complete the activity. Okay, and let's fix that. There we go. Click the launch button to complete the activity, and now I want to add my website in. Again, I don't want to link it because I want them to be able to do it on my canvas. So this is the website that I want to add. Okay, and I want to show up just like this, more or less. So first thing I need to do is I need to create an iframe, make an iframe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Google, and I'm going to Google uh, W3 Schools iframe. This is the first one that should pop up. You'll click that and you're going to get to a page just like this. I don't care about any of this stuff on the side. I'm just going to go right to the center part. I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to copy it. This iframe website right here. Now I'm going to go back to my canvas. I'm going to go to the HTML editor. Right after, I don't need to space or enter. I'm just going to paste what I just copied, that site. Now notice the site is w3schools.com. I don't want that. I want the website that I want to embed and put in my canvas, which is this. So I'm going to copy the website here and I'm going to come back and right in, in these uh, quotation marks, I'm going to paste my website. You can delete theirs or just highlight it and paste over it. Now I've done that. Now I'm going to save. So first thing I want to notice is, is uh, how small it is. I don't want it to be this small. This is not good, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to edit Again, then I'm going to go back to the HTML editor and right here where it says width and height, that's like canvas sizing it up for me. So for width, I want to erase 300 in the quotation marks and I want to write 100%. Okay. For the height, um, for mine, I'm going to go ahead and erase 150, which I think is the default that we just did and write 900. You guys can adjust this if you want, if it's uh, different on your computer. So for width, it says equal, open quotes, and I typed in 100% and then left the closed quotes. And then for height, I erased 150 and typed in 900. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit save, and it should be resized. Awesome. So there is the site that I want. I have my directions up here. Click the launch button to, compl to uh, complete the activity and my website is here. It's big, it's big enough for them to do. This one actually has it to where they click this and it'll launch another uh, kind of interactive like PowerPoint-esque site. Um, and that's it. So that's how to uh, embed a website uh, into Canvas.